Hey there, I'm Darlene here with Garth, our resident SEO expert. And now that you have your keyword seed list, we're gonna do some more keyword research and Garth's gonna show us how to use the Google Keyword Planner. Hello everyone, my name is Garth O'Brien. I run the Global Search Engine Optimization Program for GoDaddy. I've been doing SEO since 2002. Uh, I've done SEO for various companies, Chevron, Ikea USA, Hallmark, Xbox, Windows Phone, been around the block. Um, and Keyword Planner is a tool that I use pretty much every day. Uh, so let's get right to it. I'm on the Keyword Planner homepage. Always use the call to action, big blue button says go to Keyword Planner. This is gonna take you to a screen and you're gonna wanna select find new keywords. Now they've changed things up over the last year. You really can only put three keywords here first before you get started. And what you want to do is you want to choose keywords that are closely related. So WordPress hosting, hosting for WordPress, WordPress websites hosting. Not WordPress plugins, WordPress themes, okay. WordPress hosting. Because otherwise you won't get good results. The more refined those first three keywords are, the better suggestions Google Keyword Planner is going to give you. Month, average monthly search volume for a couple of your phrases that you put in. Uh, so for us, they gave us a range of 1,000 to 10,000 people a month are searching for WordPress hosting. And 100 to 1,000 people are looking for WordPress website hosting. Below the terms that we specifically searched on are the suggested ideas Google is going to give you based on various activities. Probably people like me searching in the past and their own search algorithm. I like to use the adding filter. Not the exclude ideas, but the keyword text. This is going to give you the option to narrow it down even further because Google is going to add, you, add suggestions like web hosting, VPS hosting, but that's not what I want to talk about. I'm looking at WordPress hosting. So I'll specifically put in just WordPress. Hit apply, and now you'll notice the ideas that they're returning to you has to have the word WordPress in it. And I would go back, remove WordPress, and put in hosting, or put in WordPress hosting. Then I can get all the ways people look for WordPress hosting, you know, best WordPress hosting, cheap WordPress hosting, how to use WordPress hosting. This is gonna give you a good close-knit keyword grouping for the single page that you wanna apply those keywords set to. And at that point, once you have narrowed down that nice list, you would select download keyword ideas and Google will present you with a Excel file that's gonna export all the keywords that they came back. And for a must for us, that is quite a few, 553 keywords. Uh, at that point, you have to start doing, uh, rolling up your sleeves and doing some homework um, by opening up that file and now sifting through and sorting those keywords. Wait, so what do you mean by the like ranges there? I'm assuming that 1,000 to 10,000 visitors or viewers is better than 100 to 1,000, right? Yeah, Google used to give you a ballpark exact number, like WordPress hosting, 5,500 people look for this every month. Well, they kind of limited that to only people that are paying enough through Google AdWords. If you're not paying, you're using their paid search, now you're stuck with ranges. Uh, what I've found is the low number on that range is way more accurate than the high number on that range. Okay, Garth, that was so much wonderful information. Thanks so much for stopping by, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Darlene. I'm Garth O'Brien. See you later.